Welcome everyone to this beautiful setting in historic downtown Monterey on this glorious day as we join together Eric Forte and Kaylin Steffi as husband and wife. Today is about more than Eric and Kaylin saying the words and phrases that you're accustomed to hearing at a wedding ceremony. It's also the perfect opportunity to get all of you, their closest friends and family together to share your love and support for the decision they are making to spend the rest of their forever together I think the first thing I saw about them was the way they carried themselves. I always thought, I, like literally when they came in, I said, Christian, when we get married, I want to be just like them. And um, later to find out, he's like, babe, they're not even married yet. I said, what? I was like, they've been married like 10 years already, for sure. Like just the way they carry themselves with such confidence and just such um, integrity. And it's just absolutely amazing. Eric came home one day He's a little bitty baby and said, I met a girl, mom and dad, and her name is Kaylin. He brought Kaylin over to the house, my little sweetie, and I fell in love. She was unbelievable. She was everything any man, I think, would ever want. She was special. Now, one of the things I love most about weddings is that everyone has their own unique love story. Although Eric and Kaylin attended the same middle school, they never met until their sophomore year at West Mon High during homecoming in 2010. From high school, they went to college together. From college, after they graduated, I think I told the story, some of you know it, we send them to Europe. And I figured, this is the real test. They're going to come back being so close together, or they're absolutely going to hate each other. And I think they had probably one of the best times of their lives. They have their own stories now, and they have stories that will last them a lifetime. So, I couldn't be more proud, my wife Carol, my daughters, the Steffi family, I think we've all come together for this very, very wonderful occasion. Who presents this woman to this man? Her mother and I. Couldn't give her a hug. <laughs> what Kalen first noticed about Eric is that he was a gentleman and took great care of those around him. When Kalen was getting pushed and shoved and cut in front of while trying to get into the gym for homecoming, Eric wasn't passive. He took the initiative to make sure that Kalen got inside safely. He didn't like seeing anyone go unnoticed or forgotten. And even though he didn't know Kalen, he protected her. It was in that moment that Eric became someone that she took notice of, a knight in shining armor, and thought that his girlfriend at the time was very lucky. It looks so gorgeous. You can't see the bow. It's as advertised. I'm sorry. Beautiful. Gorgeous. I like the makeup. The hair looks great. Now a year later, a now single Eric and Kaylin were fortunate enough to share two classes together, history and math. In history, their assigned seats had them sitting right next to each other. It seemed as though destiny was 
pushing them together. A few weeks later, when Eric asked Kaylin to be his date for homecoming, her answer came so quickly that he didn't even get to finish the question. <laughs> In 2012, when Kaylin went through her first hip surgery, Eric was there for her visits to the hospital, pushing her wheelchair through downtown for some fresh air, and being in contact day and night, helping her to recover. Kaylin had a very good idea that Eric was going to propose. After all, he was super nervous. <laughs> and when the smoke from nearby fires moved him indoors around other people, he seemed disappointed. When they got to their last pairing, Eric pulled out a beautiful ring given to him by his grandmother, who knew before anyone else that they would someday marry. And he proposed. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. Ready? Oh, no, that's good. The more I do, the better, I think. And Kaylin, if you please take Eric's ring and place it onto his finger, and also repeat after me. This ring is a token of my love. This ring is a token of my love. I marry you with this ring. I marry you with this ring. With all that I have. With all that I have. And all that I am. And all that I am. I do. And now we come to the end of this wedding ceremony, but the beginning of your new life together. Always remember this moment in time, these beautiful surroundings, and exactly how you feel. No matter where life takes you, you can rest in the fact you'll be sharing this adventure with your best friend, your partner, and your one true love. You'll also enjoy the love and support of everyone that's gathered here today. And take a quick moment to look at all the smiling sun-drenched faces out there. May the world be forever a better place because the two of you fell in love. And now having witnessed your exchange of vows and rings before all these witnesses, with the power of SME by the state of California, I can now happily pronounce you as husband and wife. You may now seal your vows with a kiss. Well, it only took 11 years, but we're finally here. Pretty crazy. We've been together for 11 years, right? As we came, both came down those stairs, we we're looking at everybody. And everybody here has been a part of our lives, whether it's parents, grandparents, relatives, friends, co workers, everything else in between. And every single person in this room has been an important part of our journey and our time. So to say thanks, be good enough, from Kaylin and I, we're extraordinarily honored that all of you spent a day off coming on a Friday, taking time off from work, taking time out of school. Flying from, coming from San Jose, some people flew from New York, Florida. We're extremely honored and really happy to have everybody here. Thank you. I'm just so excited to see where you and Eric are gonna go next. Starting a family, what that looks like. I'm just so in awe of you and just how you carry yourself, how you just go about life. Like you are just so wise beyond your years.
gentlemen, it is my great honor to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Forte.